to continue our talk on special points in a triangle, this particular point that we're going to talk about is called the in-center. And this is created by the angle bisectors of a triangle. So the angle bisectors... meet at a point called the in-center. And what you can do with that that's really cool is you would take a compass and open it up to this point here and you can inscribe, inscribe a circle inside the triangle. That's why it's called an in-center. Since any point on an angle bisector is equidistant from the sides of the angle, the in-center is always equidistant from the sides of the triangle. So the angle bisectors, we start at a vertex of an angle. So the angle bisectors are different. So I'm going to highlight those in different colors. They're not equal to each other. So the angle bisectors are AP, CP, and BP. And point P is the in-center. The congruent segments are perpendicular from the in-center. So these segments, all in orange, are congruent to each other. So I'm going to mark them with a tick mark. So if this looks familiar to the angle bisector problems, here's your two congruent segments your angle bisectors. So the congruent segments would be DP, EP, P. So let's try a couple problems. So if P is the in-center, we know that it's equidistant from the side. So from here we go to the side, not a vertex. So you go perpendicular to the side. So all segments highlighted in yellow will be congruent. So NP would be 8. PO, they don't have there, but that would also be 8. Okay. And then they want NK. So to do NK, you'd actually need to know what PK was, because we have different right triangles here. So we want to find PK. That's this particular, it belongs to this triangle right here. So if you look, we have a right triangle. If you want to pull it out to make it easier, we have 8 and 17. PK is the hypotenuse. So you want to do Pythagorean theorem. So 8 squared plus 17 squared. And again, to save time, we know we have to take the square root at the end, so let's just do that now. And that would give you PK. So when we work that out into the calculator, square root of 8 squared plus 17 squared, we get about 18.8. So that's our hypotenuse, so that's PK. Now we want NK, so we have triangle PNK. Let's highlight that one in green. And I'm going to draw it upside down just like it looks. So PNK. PK I know is 18.8. NP is 8, and I don't know NK. So again, Pythagorean theorem, but this time I know the hypotenuse. So I'm going to take the hypotenuse squared minus the leg squared, and that will give me NK. And that works out to about 17. So NK is 17. And then LO, we have another right triangle. 
right there. So we have LPO. PO is 8. LP is 13. So we need LO. So again, we have the hypotenuse and a leg. So the hypotenuse squared minus the leg squared will give us LO. So there's a lot to do with these. That's about 10.2. So the in center is going to create a lot of right triangles and you have to solve those separately. So it helps again if you can't visualize it, if it's too busy inside the diagram, maybe highlight the triangle and then make sure you know which parts you have or draw a simpler picture in order to solve. So now let's take a look at a more complicated problem. Again, we know the in center is created by the angle bisectors. So we know that we can mark these angles congruent. So angle PRQ, so PRQ, this whole angle is 8x minus 10. RPQ, this whole angle is 4x minus 14. And PQR is 7x minus 5. So we want to find out each missing measure. So the first thing we know is that we have a triangle. All three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So that's how we're going to solve for x first. So all of our prior knowledge is still going to have to be able to be found and used when we do these problems. So 4x plus 7x is 11x plus 8x is 19x. Then we have minus 14, minus 5, minus 10. So that would be minus 29 equals 180. So add 29, get 209. So x equals 11. So now that's what we're going to work with. So the measure of angle PRQ, we're going to do 11 times 8 minus 10. So 88 minus 10, PRQ, 78 degrees. RPQ, we're going to do 11 times 4, 44, minus 14, that would be 30 degrees. And PQR, 77 minus 5 would be 72 degrees. And if we add those up, we can see that it would be 180. Now, let's look at the rest of these angles. Angle RPS, so this angle here would be half of angle RPQ. So RPQ is 30. So half of 30 would be 15 degrees. PRQ 8 degrees, we're going to remind ourselves of that, and then this angle was 72 degrees. PQS, PQS, half of 72, 36 degrees. PRS, half of 78, 39 degrees. And PSR, so that's interesting, so this is 15, PRS is 39, so to get this last angle here in the middle, we need we have this small triangle. We'll highlight it really quickly in yellow. So to get that final angle, we need to remember that 180 degrees in a triangle. So 180 minus 54. And we get 126 degrees. So there's a little bit to do with these kind of problems. So you have to remember our angle relationships, the sum of the angles in a triangle. To bisect means to split in half. So complete the rest of this worksheet.